Brother Maurice, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, brother. All right, so let's look at the laws that talk about wearing mixed garment. Mixed garment. So I'm going to go to Deuteronomy chapter. Uh, let's go to Deuteronomy 22. The laws that talk about wear mixed garment. So I'm just going to highlight this. Okay, there's two places we're going to look at. The first one place is here. Let me highlight this. So it's very important to know this so that you don't make the mistake I think you made in the past. So Deuteronomy 22, 11. Deuteronomy 22, 11 said, Thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sort as of woolen and linen together. Yes. Do not wear a garment of diverse sort as of wool and linen together, mixed together. Okay, so it says, do not wear a garment of diverse sort. Then he gives you an example of what you cannot mix. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to Leviticus 19.19. Leviticus 19.19. Leviticus 19.19. Where is 19? Right here. 19. I'm going to highlight this again. I'm going to highlight this one again. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes, our brother. We can see it. Brother. Okay, great. Okay. So I'm I'm I highlighted this again. This is Leviticus 19 19. It says, You shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Mingled seed. You take apple seed. You take like corn and apple seed. You take two of them, you open one hole on the ground and you put them in. No, you do not put different two different seed in one hole. You open this hole, you put this seed, you close it up. You open another hole, you put that seed, you close it up. You do not sow two different kinds of seed in the same ground. Continuing, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment of linen and woolen come upon thee. I think that's the scripture, brother. Excuse me? I think that's the scripture I read that made me believe what I believed. I could be wrong, and I accept that. So the question now, okay, now look at this law. I mean, because we have to wear clothes every day and I just don't want a situation. I don't want any brother or sister to, to do something they don't have to do. We already have enough laws that we have to keep. I don't want us to make up a law accidentally and start doing something that we don't have to you know it's just going to be stressful so we have to be careful and just make sure that whatever we do is according to the scripture so in that way we don't end up just wasting time or money doing something that we don't have to do so if you look at this law in leviticus 1919 19, you shall keep my statutes Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and wool come upon thee. 
That's what it's talking about. Now, let me go back and read the one that I read earlier. That is Deuteronomy 22. Deuteronomy 22, verse 11. Thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sort, as of woolen and linen. So let me say this and say it very clearly. There is nothing wrong with you wearing a garment. The clothes you're wearing is cotton. Your fringes is polyester. There's nothing wrong with that. Polyester is not leaning. It literally tells you here, it's a garment made of wool and linen. Full stop. That's it. So, if you have a cloth that is polyester mixed with cotton, that's fine. If you have a cloth made of wool and polyester, that's fine. Now, me personally, I hate polyester just because of the way it feels. It's very uncomfortable. And when I do wear a polyester cloth, I wear something inside to protect my body. I wear something inside and then I'll put on the polyester garment. When you take off the polyester cloth, when you take them off at night, watch what happens. You hear sound, it makes noise. There is electric, like a electric charge. At night, when you take them off, you can even see some sparks. You can see some light sparking. It's making noise and it's sparking because polyester is a petroleum product. Polyester is a product digged out from the ground. It's a petro petroleum product. That's why it sparks those. You see those light. Only the most high knows the damage that that thing does inside our body. I don't know what it does in, to our body, but I know it's not going to be, it's not good because it's not a material that the Mosai give us to wear. It's very uncomfortable. But that doesn't mean that wearing it with cotton is a sin. Wearing a garment made of linen and wool is a sin. Wearing a garment made of polyester and cotton is not a sin because that's not what the law says. It literally tells you Leviticus 19 19, Deuteronomy 22 11 tells you that it is a garment made of wool and linen. Now, what is a wool? I think I've shown this before. A wool usually comes from sheep. Sometimes it comes from sheep. So, uh, linen is made of made made of linen is made of uh, a it's a plant. Woolen is made of plant. So. I guess I can't, I'm trying to, to open this, to see the images. Can I say something, brother? Sure. I think I figured out exactly where I got my understanding from. Um, I, I first, when I'm, when I start reading, I read from the King James. And then I go to the Amplified Bible and then I leave the Amplified Bible and I go to the Message Bible. And the Message Bible reads like this, if you would allow me to read it. Sure. It says, keep my decrees. Don't make two different kind of animals. Don't plant your fields with two kinds of seed 
and don't wear clothes woven of two kinds of material. So when I looked at the tag of the shirt and the shirt said, I think it was uh, woolen um, and something else, I can't remember. It might've been polyester, I'm not sure, or linen. And I immediately like, you know what, I can't wear this shirt. Instead of getting a better understanding on it, or, having someone help me break this scripture down. As soon as I read this right here is when I got my understanding. It says, don't wear clothes woven of two kind of materials. And I saw those two materials. I was like, okay, maybe God wants me to just wear an all cotton shirt because <laughs> cotton comes from the lamb, right? Or the uh, or, 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 or an animal. That's what I'm showing you right now. Uh, right. So wool is made of you know from from a sheep so um that's where we get it from they produce it it's it's taken from their body to make uh, like garments and stuff mm -hmm. so um then i'm also going to show you I'm also going to show you about linen. Okay. So I'm going to show you linen. So let's try and go back. Okay. So we have seen what wool looks like. It comes from sheep. Um, I'm going to show you linen, and then I'm going to speak in terms of the availability today, because right now it's hard to find very difficult to find woolen clothes right now. It's mainly suits. So what I'm showing you right now is a linen. So first of all, this is a linen plant. This is where it comes from. It's a plant that produces linen. So wool comes from sheep. A wool is from sheep. Um, so those two would be good to mix together, right? No, they're not supposed to mix, mix the two together. Wool okay. and linen. Okay. But the okay. thing is that I guarantee you right now, if you go to your closet and start looking at your clothes, there's a very good chance you're not going to find any clothes that is a linen. They don't make linen clothes anymore. They don't make it anymore because it's more expensive to make. This is, a, this is a field of linen. This is what produces it. This is a field of linen right here. Beautiful field. Sharing my screen right now. So when it gets to a certain level, they harvest it. And when it's harvested, uh, it basically um, it basically turns into uh, something more when it's harvested it turns into something like this this is what they now process this is what is processed this is processed in order to be able to uh, come up with clothes and when that cloth is done it looks the, the material looks more of like something like this it looks more like this i remember i used to have a pant a trouser of linen. I only had one cloth that was a linen, one trouser, a long time ago. Um, I didn't know it was, I think it was because of the law that really got my attention because when I started keeping the law, I started looking at uh, the labels of my cloth. That's one of the things that happens to us. Once you start keeping, in the, keeping the law, then you become interested in, in the labels on your cloth. And all praises to the Most High that they do put labels. I'm glad that they put labels to be able to show you what your cloth is made of. This is what a linen looks like, you know? So it's a very high quality, high quality material. They don't make them anymore. Like as I said, they do no longer make this. This is not done anymore. Not anymore. They don't make linen like, I mean, they do make it, but it's more expensive. You're going to find a linen cloth, but I guarantee you it will be very expensive very 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 expensive because of the material it's much more cheaper to make clothes based on it's much cheaper to make clothes
most close are made better. Me personally, I do try to avoid polyester. Like, um, I try to avoid polyester. I try to avoid it. But I do have a cloth that I do wear that is a polyester um, or mixed with polyester. I have a pant that is mixed with polyester, maybe so, uh, like polyester and nylon. I think it's like polyester and nylon. So sometimes they mix them. So it's always good to look at the label. If you see a cloth, which I doubt, I doubt it. I like I'm almost 100 percent sure that you're not gonna find it in your closet because it, it's so hard to find a cloth made of linen right now. You probably have a cloth made of wool if you have suits right now. Right now, most like very expensive suits. The old suit, most suits right now is made of polyester, especially the cheap ones. If you have an expensive suit, it, it's most likely a wool, most likely. So my point is that all you have to do is look at your look at your labels, look at your clothes. Any clothes that is not, because the good thing is that they actually tell you. They tell you the, on the label, it's 50%, 50 percent, 50 percent wool is or whatever, 50 percent so so so. Uh, like say for example, 50, um, 50 percent wool. Yeah, 50. I think I think I got it here. Fifty polyester and fifty. Um, let's see if we can see what I'm talking about. So they do have clothes. This one is made of fifty percent polyester, fifty percent wool. That's what they're telling you. That's what these clothes are made made from. This one, it's fifty fifty. Fifty percent uh, polyester and fifty percent cotton. Most clothes are like that. So. Um, I remember when I was buying some veils, unfortunately, 100% of the veils I found was all, I think it's all polyester, polyester, but, or maybe a different material, because I didn't want something that would be uncomfortable uh, for the sisters to wear. Uh, like, as I said, I do buy veils and I just keep them just in case, because uh, sometimes sisters may want to wear a veil but they don't know where to find them so uh yeah um just look at the label let's put label here let's see if we can see something a label okay so it's like this clothes this right here, it says 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Now let's go back and see if we can actually see the one that we cannot wear. 50% cotton, I'm going to put 50%. 50 linen, 50, 50 uh, cotton fabric. No, I need wool. It's not cotton, wool. But okay, so this is the one that uh I don't need hundred percent. I need fifty fifty. Okay, this is what Yah is telling us not to wear right here. This one, this material right here. See, it's fifty fifty. It's fifty percent lean. No, no, no. It's I need wool. Okay. Anyway, I think you get okay. I think you get the point. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sometimes Google does that. <laughs> Wool, but it...
I wonder why God doesn't want us to wear the wool. Uh, um, that. Not that I want to wear it. I just want to know why. I'm nosy like that. <laughs> why? Probably see. It's more like health wise. It, it body. It, 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 Health, so because this clothes stays in your body, okay. The best, the best clothes for your body is, um, you know, it, it's better if if you can just wear. If you're gonna wear cotton, wear cotton, wear cotton, okay. If you're gonna wear wool, wear wool. Um, if you, the most high is like our manufacturer. He is our manufacturer. So, ah, no, th this is not what I was looking for. This is 50% wool and 50% cotton. You know, looking for linen. So if you are, like as I said, we have to be very, very, I don't want to add into Yah's law and tell you, oh, you don't have to do this or you can do this even though you cannot. Right, so... Right. Um, there is nothing wrong with, in terms, it's not a sin to wear a cloth made of polyester and cotton. It's not a sin. Now, is it comfortable to the body? No, it is not. I know because I do wear it sometimes. Like as I said, I do wear cotton inside before I put on the polyester. Before I put on the polyester, I put on a cotton cloth inside to protect myself. I'm telling you, because I hate the the way it feels to the body. Yeah, I don't so, like it. Yeah, it feels very uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable. So it's all about, it's all about really how it feels to the body. And our body is such an amazing machine. You know, it, 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 we have to be careful what comes on or comes into our body, you know. So um, certain material may especially this polyester now i'm not saying you shouldn't wear polyester because i do wear it myself uh but i like to wear them i prefer to wear them on top of another cloth uh, between you're breaking up there a little bit okay can you hear me i can hear you but you're like breaking crackly like Are you hear me? Same thing. Hmm. Is it from me? Uh, can anyone else hear me, or is uh, everybody? Am I breaking on your end? Yeah, you're in and out. You're in and out. In and out. Hmm. What can I do? Okay. Uh, how about now? Well, they're much clearer now, boy. You are definitely that's, breathing. That's better. It's sounding clearer okay. now. All right, thank you. So, yeah, uh, the, the, the reality that we face at this point is that most clothes right now, I would say like 80% of the clothes are made of polyester. Cotton is still popular, actually. I, I wouldn't say 80% because cotton is still out there. Cotton is still very much alive. So I would say maybe like 60% of the clothes are polyester. You know, cotton, a lot of clothes are still cotton. A lot of clothes are still cotton. So when I'm buying clothes, I, I'm definitely looking, is it a cotton? Unless if I love that cloth, if I like it so much, if I like it so much and it's polyester, then I'll buy. So, uh, but I prefer to buy cotton. Cotton is much more comfortable. You're more relaxed. You don't feel anything. What I hate about polyester is that that thing that it sparks when I'm taking it off, and it feels <laughs> certain way to your body. It feels certain way. You could tell that this is not right. <laughs> you can tell it's not right. Polyester is not right to the body. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it does a feeling that I get when I when it, like sometimes my the hair on my leg 
um, when I wear a, a trouser with, with polyester, it's like the cloth is magneting, magneting the hair on my body. I could feel it. You know, it's just, it, it's just, it's not right. You're supposed to, you're not supposed to be having feeling when you have cloth. You're not supposed to be like feeling that cloth. I can feel polyester. When I wear it, like what I'm wearing right now is a cotton. Oh, it's just, it's natural. It, it's like, it feels like it, it's, it's normal. You, you, it's just, you don't feel anything. I'm wearing a cotton right now. So, um, but polyester is a man-made material. I don't know if I'll call it a man-made material because it's still dig that of the ground. It's a material that comes from the ground. It's a petroleum material that comes from the ground. So we can't entirely call it a man-made material, but I wouldn't say that it's approved by YA for us to wear. I think that what YA approved for us to wear is cotton, wool, and linen. Cotton, wool, and linen. These are natural, you know, linen is a, a plant-based product. Wool is from sheep. Cotton is also a plant-based product. These are the three, three that you approved. So anyway, all praises to our Heavenly Father. So coming back to you, my brother. Yeah, I would have said, if, if you still have that clothes, I would have said, keep it. I would have advised you to just get a T-shirt that is a, made of cotton. Wear it inside and then wear that polyester clothes outside. Like there's nothing wrong with wear. If your fringes, like the fringes I have on right now, I think it's probably a polyester. Like it, it feels, I don't know, it, it feels like it's very durable, very strong, like very, it's very durable. It's it's really uh, kind of like, I don't know if, I would probably say it's a, it's, a, it's a polyester fringes, made of a polyester product. Yeah, I would say it's a polyester. So, I'm not saying this because I'm wearing it. I'm not saying that you can wear it because I'm wearing it. So you can, sorry, no. I'm saying it based on what the law says. The law is very clear. It's right here in verse 11. It tells you, thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sort, as of woolen and linen. Now, if it says, thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sort, and that is the full stop, then yeah. You can only wear one type of cloth at the same time. But because it gives you an example, wool and linen, that's why, um, that's why you can definitely wear a cloth. So we can wear a cloth made of polyester and cotton uh, or cotton and linen. But you cannot wear a cloth made of wool and linen. No, 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 no. You can wear a cloth made of polyester and and linen if you can avoid polyester avoid it i don't think that thing is good for the body no the problem is that most of our clothes are made of polyester that's just reality so it, it, as you change your wardrobe as you slowly begin to buy hebrew clothes just stick to buying the ones that are the ones that are made of uh, cotton try and buy the ones made of cotton now, I have attempted to, maybe online you can find a, a, a veil. Maybe online you can find a veil made of um, wool, uh, made of cotton. I'm sure it's there. I think I probably have seen it online on Amazon or something. But um, so the law is very clear also in Leviticus 19, 19 that I read earlier. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 19. Leviticus 19, 19 tells you that you know, it's something made of wool and linen, made of wool and linen. That's what we cannot wear. So uh, if your fringes is polyester, that's fine. If the ribbon of blue is polyester, that's fine. You can absolutely put a fringes made of polyester on your cotton garment or your wool garment or your linen garment, okay? Because polyester is not wool and polyester is not cotton. Polyester is not linen. So don't reject fringes or whatever, like clothes, just because it has polyester. If you're gonna avoid polyester, 
avoid it based on health reasons. If you're going to be buying clothes, it's better to buy cotton or wool or linen. But re remember not to mix wool and linen together. So your shirt cannot be a, a, a wool, your pant a, 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 a linen. Your veil cannot be a wool and your robe a linen. No. So it's really, really clear. The most high kept it very simple. And it's really, really simple and easy to understand. Does anybody have any question relating to this? Okay, so all praises to our Heavenly Father. So, brother, you do you get it now, right? You understand it. So if you're getting your fringes, just get your fringes. Don't worry about it. Just get your fringes and and you know, even if it's uh, the fringes, is it's whatever the fringes is made of. If it's if the fringes is made of nylon, polyester, that's fine because it's just the fringes. Okay, it's not gonna be touching your body that much anyway. You know, so uh, yeah, I think somebody wanted to say something. Yes, brother. Um, I have a question. <laughs> um, is it okay to wear um your your t-shirt underneath your garments. Um, another question is that, um, the second question is, um, is it okay to wear a poncho or do you have to wear the full-fledged um, um, tunic? Yep, that, that's all. Yeah, it's okay to wear a t-shirt under, inside. That's fine. Um, to wear just a t-shirt when you go outside and you're walking around that's not something that i don't do it i'm not gonna do it i'm not just gonna wear a t-shirt and go outside maybe inside yes inside fine if i'm gonna be going out you know i'm gonna wear something that will go at least down to my knees you know so um yeah that's so it's fine to wear it inside. So if I'm wearing, I do have this thing that I wear, and it, I think it's like polyester. It's 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 polyester, or it's mixed with polyester. It's not 100% polyester, but it's mixed with polyester, and I don't really like it. So I wear t-shirt inside it before I wear it. Okay. So the second question is about it's about tunic or something. Or the second question. Uh, the second question is: um, Can you wear a, a poncho uh, with uh, with uh, fringes, um, or do you have to wear a full tunic? What do you mean by a poncho? That sounds Mexican. Okay, yeah. So uh, what the Mexicans wear, they wear a poncho. Um, sometimes I wear a poncho. And so I was asking, is it is it okay to wear just a poncho or do you have to wear uh, a full tunic? Like, yeah. What we wear is very simple, just a simple, simple robe and there are different 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 types this is something i would suggest you know the first time you buy like two or buy like three so you have something to wear and you slowly keep on buying just little by little i'm sure it, you probably find some in your area or you can buy them online and they can send it to you it's a simple robe um if you want to wear a pancho um and it looks like a robe that's fine. If it looks like a robe, if it goes down to your knees and maybe crosses your knees, that's fine. You know, if that's, but is that really a robe? That's the question. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's not a robe. It's just a, it's just a punch of, it's just a long punch of. Um, I see some Israelites like in Jamaica uh, wearing uh, something similar. 
on top of their clothes. So yeah. I was just asking to see what you was would say. They do wear it, and I think that people wear it when they don't have much option. Like nobody is gonna have a robe, and then wear a panchos. You know, when people don't have option, they are just trying to do whatever they can. It's better than wearing nothing. So that's why they do that. You know, if if somebody has a robe, like me, I'm not gonna wear a pancho when I have a robe. You know, a robe is more, much more natural. Uh, it's much more like it's much much better. So if if you have one that looks like a robe or goes down towards your knee that's fine but my advice will be for you to walk towards getting uh getting like getting like normal robes something normal like a normal robe you know it's possible if you start walking towards it it's possible you can get it online um you don't have to buy 10 or 20 you can start with two or three you know so um but yes that apancho that you're talking about if it, if it, if if it looks like a robe and that's all you have right now you can you can start with that you know while you slowly like you know change your wardrobe and get what you really want to wear so it's okay to buy a um a muslim tunic and then put fringes on it yeah i call it a robe okay it's just a, a simple robe very simple uh it's okay yes thank you all right so um all right so all praises to our heavenly father for everything opening our eyes and giving us understanding and the desire to become interested in his commandment um so now you know um and i think that i think that this is going to make it much easier when you're trying to get your fringes so you don't have to worry if the fringes as long as the fringes it's not a wool and you're putting it on a linen cloth. Most fringes are going to be polyester or other material or nylon or whatever, whatever the fringes is. So now you know all you have to avoid is just a wool, wool and linen. And the, the good news is that, no, it's not a good news actually, it's a bad news. We don't have wool and linen anymore like we used to. So we don't have it like we used to in the past so that's not a good that's not a good news but at least you know um at this point you know that most likely you don't have it in your closet like most of your clothes are not wool and linen that would make it more stressful but now that most of us don't have it you don't have to worry much about it you know so, all praises to our Heavenly Father. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through WhatsApp. You can call us or send us a message. You can also email us at lawstogod at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.losttogodskingdom.com Download our mobile app from the Android store. Search for Laws to God app. You can also find us on Facebook. Just search for Laws to God. Don't forget, you can also use Skype to call us. Just download Skype on your phone and search for Laws to God. If you are in South Africa and you need a congregation to worship with, give us a call. For more information that we don't have here on YouTube, please download our app and check out our website www.losttogodskingdom.com. Help us spread this truth by sharing this video on your social media.